Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 2620.670 for version 24H2. Well, on the dev channel, Microsoft hasn't released any big or exciting new features, but we have some improvements and also some fixes, which we're going to talk about in this video. So if you're interested in these types of videos, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, one thing that I have to mentioned in this build but is not necessarily tied to this build is that Microsoft is updating the snipping tool app and if we open up the snipping tool app you're going to notice that the app is now at the version 240439 this is the latest version basically and what you're going to notice is that you now have the option to add shapes these options or these features are slowly rolling out you also have the emoji feature that you can do here I think that is pretty interesting but Microsoft is also introducing a new option at right click I don't have it yet as I've said some features are slowly rolling out that will basically allow you to do a visual search with Bing. Basically, they will allow you to search that image or that wallpaper, whatever you have there with the Bing search engine. And what I can say is that the Bing search engine is not really that bad whenever searching for visual things. Personally, I use Google, but Bing is decent as well if you want to do a visual search within snipping tool. I'm sure that Microsoft will most likely not include any other search engines in these visual searches, but even with Bing, I think we're pretty good. Related to this build, Microsoft included a small set of general improvements and fixes that improve the overall experience for Windows Insiders running this build on their PC. Related to the File Explorer, Microsoft fixed an issue where the Network Locations header was missing in the DS PC section of File Explorer. They also fixed some issues related to DNS servers, so you can check that out in the article below if you're interested. I'm not going to go into detail. Also, this update addresses an issue that affects the installation of a Windows update. It fails to complete. This occurs when you have to restart your device for more than once. And also, this update addresses an issue that might affect visual secure mode scenarios they might fail. These scenarios include VPN, Windows Solo, Credential Guard, and Key Guard. And also as a known issue, the OnePlus W keyboard shortcut may not work correctly to open the widgets board. Also, if you want to learn more info about the new beta channel system and what was changed, you can check out the article below because there I have a list of things that were changed recently in the dev channel, so you can check those out if you want. Basically, this was the video for today. I know this hasn't been such an exciting build, but you know me, I always do videos about the new builds, and hopefully this week Microsoft will include some more new interesting improvements in the next few belts for the Windows Insider program. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Imani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.